Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a keto full day of eating. I know it has been a while since I filmed one of these. Well, not really a while. It's been like two weeks, but um, I had all intentions of filming one yesterday, but it just didn't happen. But today is, today is Tuesday. I am back with a full day of eating. Riley's in the back. She says, hello. Why do you look so angry? I'm angry. <laughs> um, Anyways, so, yeah, I've been really kind of struggling with food lately, um, kind of had, I don't know, lost some self-control with making good choices, um, so I thought, you know, this week I need to get back on track, I need to do what I'm supposed to do, so what better way to do that than film a full day of eating, so that's what I have for you today, um, but yeah, I will be back in just a little bit to show y'all what I'm having for breakfast. All right, y'all, this is what I'm having for breakfast. I just have one of the low-carb tortillas from Extreme Wellness. It's the spinach one. I have two scrambled eggs, two slices of turkey bacon, and then half of an avocado. Topped it with some hot sauce. I'm gonna roll this up and devour it. I am so hungry. I actually woke up super, super hungry this morning. Then I also have a cup of coffee that just has some heavy whipping cream in it and some of this sugar-free caramel syrup. So we're taking this boy for a walk. Well, not really a walk because we're in the yard, but to go potty. But all he wants to do is play with a stick. <laughs> and he, if you get, if I get near him, he gets upset. He thinks I'm going to take it from him. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm just checking in. Um, it is about 1230. I'm actually sitting out on my porch. I'm getting ready to pop open this Bang Energy Drink in Purple Haze. I've actually never tried this flavor before um i recently tried bank energy drinks and i'm freaking addicted um i had been wanting to try them for a while but i wasn't going to drive to five star nutrition or gnc just to try bank energy drink no thanks <laughs> but now they sell them at walmart and then they also sell them at a local store in my area called iga i'm from the south so you probably ain't never heard of that if you ain't from the south but um yeah so, I thought I would try this flavor on camera with you guys. Um, and then I just kind of wanted to sit and chat about what I mentioned earlier about how I've been kind of struggling with food and how I kind of feel like I haven't really had any kind of self-control with food choices and like just, I had hair in my mouth. Got it. Like saying no to sweets and um, I don't know. I've just been driving the freaking struggle bus, you guys. So. But first, let's go ahead and try the Spang Energy. Sorry if the camera is shaking. I'm pretty sure it just did for me opening strength. So, smells great, grapey. Just spilled it all over myself. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Definitely taste artificial grape flavor which is fine i mean i like like grape sodas and stuff like that when i was younger loved grape kool-aid growing up so it's pretty good um so far i've tried this one the cotton candy flavor that's my freaking favorite the blue raspberry i really like that one and then i've also tried the um peach mango or mango peach or something it's pretty good but definitely cotton candy is my go-to and the blue raspberry those two are definitely my favorite so far i know there's a lot more flavors out there that i need to try but anyways so yeah i just wanted to sit and chat a little bit about how i've been feeling um i really struggled this month with staying on track with keto um have i eaten bread yes have I eaten potatoes? Yes. Have I eaten macaroni and cheese? Yup. Easter dinner? Threw down. Not even playing. Um, we've been having family dinner like every Sunday and I just have not been able to say no to all the good food. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I know a lot of people are like, well, it's willpower. You gotta have willpower, but I believe it's discipline. And that's something that I have not had, and I've had to learn it the hard way. Um, I've only gained a couple pounds, so it's not like, you know, I've done gain 20 pounds or something, you know. Um, but I said, you know what, that's it. I've really got to get back on track, and I've got to really, 
you know, stick to my keto diet. Like, um, even if it's not keto, just low carb, you know. So, I'm trying to do better. I'll get back on track. I'll get there. I'm doing great today. So, you know, I think it's important to talk about your struggles. And because that's all part of the journey. Nobody eats perfect 100%. I'm sorry. I don't care what you say. No, you don't. You do not eat perfect every single day and don't ever slip up. If you say you do, you are a liar. You're lying. You're lying to me and you're lying to yourself because nobody's that perfect. Um, but you know what? I just, I'm learning that this is part of the journey and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And you just have to put your big girl pennies on and get back on track and, you know, do what you got to do. And I'm going to do what I have to do to get to my next goal weight. Summer is around the corner. I'm trying to look and feel my best. So, I'm going to be working very, very hard um, these next couple weeks. And um, luckily, my husband, he is very supportive and he will, you know, tell me like, babe, just trying to stay on track. Like, you don't want to eat that, you know. Um, but then if I do want to cheat, you know, he's like, whatever, he supports me. So <laughs> it's very helpful when you have family members that are supportive and, you know, cheer you on throughout your journey. Um, my mom, she's currently on a, I guess, low carb diet. She doesn't really, she thinks keto is crazy. Like her not being able to eat grapes and bananas and apples and, you know, she, you know, all that stuff. So she's basically just cut out like bread and pastas and rice and stuff like that so but she's doing pretty good she, i think she's dropped about six pounds so go her but um yeah so i just wanted to chat about that real quick um just kind of let you guys know how i'm feeling because i haven't really talked to you guys lately i haven't posted a full day of eating lately so yeah but i'm gonna continue to sit here and sip on this bang and get some caffeine in me because my workout is coming up we got back and biceps today all lifting, no hit, which is my favorite day because I love weightlifting. Um, so yeah, but I will check back with y'all in just a little while. Okay, so I just finished my workout and I just quickly wanted to show you guys what I am meal prepping for the rest of the week. Um, I actually forgot to take my chicken out Sunday night, so I couldn't meal prep yesterday. Um, but anyway, so I put four chicken breasts in the crock pot this morning um, and cook those until they could be shredded. Obviously, I have shredded them and then I just added this uh, G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce in the hickory flavor. This is the first time I've ever tried this. It's okay, it's not my favorite. I mean, I definitely like Sweet Baby Ray's better, but that has so much sugar in it and so many more carbs, so this isn't too bad. And then I also added a packet of the Hidden Valley Spicy Ranch just to give it a little bit more flavor. And then I am going to cook these market side broccoli florets. This is the broccoli that I've been really liking lately. I actually like it better than the Bird's Eye Frozen brand. Um, my family hates this broccoli because they said that it stinks so bad. So I've got to hurry up and cook it so it doesn't stink when everybody gets home. But um, yeah, so just wanted to show you guys what I am having for meal prep this week. Alright y'all, this is what I'm having for dinner. I'm having one pork chop, you are not eating. a half a cup of mashed cauliflower, and this is the roasted garlic flavor, and then yes, I'm having some black eyed peas. I know they're a little bit higher in carb, but I only did two tablespoons, but yeah. This is what my dinner is. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. I am so tired. I just took my melatonin, and hopefully it's going to kick in soon because I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning. I'm going to watch a little bit of Gossip Girl and then go to sleep. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.